Gotta set the mood. Do, 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 do. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway. Because bee bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Coming. Hang on a second. Hello? Barry, Adam, can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. All bees. Very proud. <clears throat> Ma, I got a thing going here. You got lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you. Stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz show? A little special day. Graduation. Never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school. Three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Already growing a mustache. Looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not going. Everybody knows you sing, you sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel, such a hothead. Guess he, I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, quite a bit of pomp. What? Under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. Today, uh, we are bee men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, facility, dis distinguished bees. Please welcome Dean Buswell. Welcome, New Hive City, graduating class of 915. That, inc that concludes your ceremonies and begins your career at Hunnex Industries. Will we pick our job today. Or it's just orientation. Heads up. Here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. Wonder what it'll be like. A little scary. Welcome to Hunnex, a division of Hunnex Co. and a part of the Hexacon Group. This is it. Wow, wow. We know that you as a bee have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, scene adjusted, and bubble contoured, contour, contour, whatever, into this soothing sweet syrup. With its distinctive golden glow, you know, as honey, that girl was hot. She's my cousin. She is. Yes, we're all cousins. Right. You're right. At Honex, we constantly strive, strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have our latest advancement, the Krell Man. What does that do? Patches the, that little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Or catches that little strand of whatever. Can can anyone work at, on the Krell Man? Of course. Most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job, if it's done well, means a lot. But choose carefully because you'll stay... In the job for the rest of your life. The same job for the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know that bees as a species haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death? We'll sure try. Whoa, that blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved now we only have to make one decision in life. But I don't know. How could they never have told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning functioning society on earth. You ever think maybe things work a little too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal nectar, nectar force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Hey, those are pollen jocks. Wow, never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hey, jocks. Hi, jocks. You guys did great your monsters your sky freaks i love it i love it i wonder where they were i don't know their day's not playing outside the hive flying who knows where doing who knows what you can't just decide to be a ball and jock you have to be bred for that right look there's more pollen than you will ever see in a lifetime it's just a status symbol bees make too much of it perhaps unless you're wearing it and the ladies see you wearing that those ladies are they your cousins too distant distant. Look at these two, couple of hive hairies. Let's have fun with them. It must be dangerous being a pollen jock. Yeah, once a bear pinned me against a mushroom. He had one paw in my throat and with the other he was slapping me. Oh my, never thought I'd knock him out. Um, where, what were you doing during this? Trying to alert the authorities? I can autograph that. 
A little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting a sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh, Barry? Uh, a puddle jump for us, but maybe you're not up, up for it. Maybe I am. You are not. We're going... Um, 0900 at J-Gate. What do you think, Buzzy Boy? Are you B enough? Well, it all depends on what 0900 means. Hey, Hunnex, Dad, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in? Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about stirring. You grab that stick and you just move it around and you stir it around. You get yourself into a rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field just isn't right for me. You were thinking of what? Making balloon animals? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey. Our son, the stirrer. You're going to be a stirrer? No one's listening to me. Wait until you see all the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm going to get an ant tattoo. Let's open up some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll pierce my thorax. Shave my antennae. 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 Uh, stack up with a... Stack up with a grasshopper. Get a grasshopper. Get a gold tooth and call everyone dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen counting, stunt bee, pouring, stirrer, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on, two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What did you get? Picking crud out. Stellar. Wow. A couple of newbies. Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. Um, you want to go first? No, you go. Oh, my. What's available? Restroom attendance open. Not for the reason you think. Any chance of getting the Krellman? Sure, you're on. I'm sorry. The Krellman just closed out. Wax monkeys always open. The Krellman opened up again. What happened? A bee died. Makes an opening. See? He's dead. Another dead one. Dead. Dead of five. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the... Neck down, that's life. Oh, this is so hard. Heating, cooking, stunt bee, pourer, stirrer, humming. Inspector number seven, lind coordinator, stripe supervisor. Mile Ranger, Barry, what do you think I should bury? Barry! All right, we've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Where are you? I'm going out. Out where? Out there. Oh no, I have to before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're going to die. You're crazy. Hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean deli on 83rd that gets the roses today. Hey guys, look at that. Isn't that the kid we saw yesterday? Hold it, son. Flight desk. Flight deck's restricted. It's okay, Lou. We're gonna take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? Sign here, here. Just initial that. Thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today, and as you all know, bees cannot fly in rain, so be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, dogs, birds, bears, and bats. Also, I got a couple of reports of root bear being poured on us. Murphy's in a home because of it. Babbling like a cicada. Cicada? Cicada? Cicada. That's awful. Just a reminder for you rookies. Be law number one. Absolutely no talking to humans. All right. Launch positions. Buzz, 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 Black and yellow. Hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Wind check. Antenna check. Nectar pack check. Wings check. Singer check. Scare out of my shorts check. Okay, ladies. Let's move it out. Pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. It's so blue. I feel so fast and free. Box kite. Wow, flowers. This is blue leader. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses, 30 degrees, Roger. Bringing it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. That is one nectar collector. Have you ever seen pollination up close? No, sir. I pick up some pollen here, sprinkle it over there, maybe a dash over there, a pinch on that one. See that? It's a, it's a little bit of magic. That's amazing. Why, why do we do that? That's pollen power. More pollen, more flowers, more nectar, more honey for us. Cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Copy that visual. Wait, one of these flowers seems to be on the move. Say again, you're reporting a moving flower? Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. What is that? What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain. Get off there. Problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. Mom, the little boy. Are you... you are way out of position, rookie. Coming in at you like a missile. Help me, I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this match point? You can't start packing up honey because you're about to eat it. Yowzer. 
gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back here. He's gonna sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinks. Spray him, Granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I gotta get home. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Can't fly in rain. Mayday, mayday. Bee going down. Ken, can you close the window? Please, Ken, can you, could you close the window, please? Check out my new resume. I made it into a fold-out brochure. You see, it folds out. Oh no, more humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time, this time, this time, this time, this drapes. That is diabolical. It's fantastic. It's got all of my special skills, even my top ten favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars. Nah, I don't go for that kind of stuff. <clears throat> no wonder we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. I can't believe what I say. Um, there's the sun. Maybe there that's a way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. I predicted global warming. I could feel it getting hotter. At first, I thought it was just me. Wait, stop. B, stand back. These are winter boots. Wait, don't kill them. You know I'm allergic to them. This, can, this thing could kill me. Why does this life less, have less value than yours? Why does his life have less value than mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying, all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure, there you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him, it's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special scare. Right, skill. Right, bye Vanessa, thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt night? Sure, Ken, you know, whatever. We could put Kirob chips on there. Bye, supposed to be less calories. Bye, I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. All right, here it goes. Nah, what would I say? I could really get in trouble. It's a B law. You're not supposed to talk to a human. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got to. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. You know, yes, no, do it. I can't. How should I start it? You like jazz? No, that's no good. Here she comes. Speak, you fool. Hi. I'm sorry. You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know. I'm dreaming. Uh, but I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very discon disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, you're a bee. I am, and you're not. And I'm not supposed to be doing this. But they were all trying to kill me, and if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. It just... It's just how I was raised. That was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah, I'm talking to a bee, and the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What, the talking thing? Same way you did, I guess. Mama, Daddy, honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah, bees are funny if we didn't laugh. We cry with um, we cry with what we have to deal with. Anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Coffee? I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. It's just it's just coffee. I hate to impose. Don't be really, don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, you want rum cake? I shouldn't have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where these stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you all right? No. He's making the tie in the cab as they're flying up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up the step and steps into the church. The wedding is on, and he says, "Watermelon? I thought you said guatemelon." Why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are you going to do, Barry, about work? I don't know. I want to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want. I know how you feel. You do? Sure. My parents wanted me to be a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to be a florist. Really? My only interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with the same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look... And there's my hive right there. See it? You're in Sheep Meadow. Yes, I'm right off the Turtle Pond. No way. I know that area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe you'll try that. You all right, ma'am? Oh, yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no trouble. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my life. Are you... Can I take a piece of this with me? Sure. Here, have a crumb. Thanks. Yeah. All right, well then, I guess I'll see you around, or not. Okay, Barry. Thank you so much again for before. Oh, that? That was nothing. Well, not nothing, but anyway. This can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We might as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the chute. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It was the scariest, happiest moment of my life. Humans, I can't believe you were with humans. Giant scary humans, what were they like? You think you crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy giant things. They drive crazy. 
Do they try and kill you like on TV? Some of them, but some of them don't. How'd you get back, Poodle? You did it. And I'm glad. I saw, you saw whatever you wanted to see, and you had your experience, now you can pick your job and be normal. Well, well, I met someone you did. Was she beeish? A wasp? Your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. Spider, I'm not attracted to spiders. You know, it's the hottest thing with, uh, with the eight legs and all. I can't get by that face. Who is she? She's human. No, no, it's a bee law. You wouldn't break a bee law. Her name's Vanessa. Oh, boy, she's so nice, and she's a florist. Oh, no, you're dating a human florist. We're not dating. You're flying outside the hive, talking to humans that attack our homes with power washers and M80s, one-eighth a stick of dynamite. She saved my life, and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What was that? They call it a crime. It was so stinging stripey. And that's not what they eat. That's what falls off what they eat. Do you know what a cinnamon is? No. It's bread and cinnamon and frosting. They heat it up, sit down really hot. Listen to me. We are not them. We're us. They're us and they're them. Yes, but who can deny the heart that there's no yearning? Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have... You've got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. There he is. He's in the pool. You know what your problem is, Very? I've got to start thinking, B, how much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've got a lot of big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a bee. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come out. Your father is talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You come and got everything all set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be too long. Watch this. Vanessa, we're still here. I told you not to yell at him. <coughs> he doesn't respond yelling. Then why yell at me? Because you don't listen. I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I got, I've got to go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend. A girl? Is this why you can't decide? Bye. I just hope she's bee-ish. They have a huge parade of flowers every year in Pasadena to be in the Tournament of Roses. That's every forest stream up on a float surrounded by f flowers, crowds, cheering a tournament. Do the roses compete in athletic events? No, all right, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. How come you don't run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay, I see, I see. All right, your turn. TiVo, you can just freeze live TV? That's insane. You don't have that? We have HiVo, but it's a disease. A horrible, horrible disease. Oh my, dumb bees, you must want to sting all those jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us, so you have to watch your temper very carefully. You kick a wall, you pick a wall, take a walk, write an angry letter and throw it out, work through it like any emotion. <clears throat> Anger, jealousy, lust, oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah, what is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering anybody. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and save circular? Yeah, it was. How do you know? It felt like about 10 pages. 75 is pretty much our limit. You've really got that down to a science. I lost a cu cousin to Italian Vogue. I'll bet. What is in what in the name of mighty Hercules is this? How did you get here? Oak B Golden Blossom Ray Liotta Private Select? Is he that actor? I've never heard of him. Why is he here? For people, we eat it. You don't have enough food of your own? Well, yes. How did you get it? Bees make it. I know who makes it, and it's hard to make it. There's heating, cooling, stirring. You need a whole chromin thing. It's organic. It's all organic. It's just honey, berry. Just what? Bees don't know about this? This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our home, schools, hospitals. This is all we have, and it's on sale. I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector, you almost done? Always. I mean, almost. He is here. I sense it. Well, I guess I'll go home now. Um, and just leave this nice honey out with no one around. You're busted, box boy. I knew I heard some something so you can talk. I can talk. And now you'll start talking. Where do you get the sweet stuff? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we want to do is upset bees. It's too late. It's ours now. You, sir, will be lunch for my iguana. I don't know how to say that. <clears throat> where is the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey farms. Crazy person. What horrible thing has happened here? These faces, they never knew what hit them. And now they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They will wipe everything that moves. Where are you headed? To honey farms? I'm on to something huge here. 
I'm going to Alaska, moose blood, crazy stuff, blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma, and you, he really is dead, all right. Uh-oh, what is that? Oh, no, a wiper, triple blade, triple blade, jump on, it's your only chance, B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes, stick your head out the window from NBR News in Washington. I'm Carl Castle. But don't kill no more bugs. But B, moose blood guy. You hear that? Like what? Like tiny screaming? Turn off the radio. What's up, B boy? Hey, blood. Just a couple of, just a row of honey jars as far as, far as the eye can see. Wow, I assume the truck goes is where they're getting it. I mean, that honey is ours. Bees hang tight. We're all jammed in. It's a closed community, not us, man. We're on our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you What if you get in trouble? You a mosquito. You in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack. See a mosquito smack, smack. At least you're out in the world. You must meet girls. Mosquito girls try to trade up. Get with a moth, butterfly. Mosquito girl don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. Moose blood's about to leave the building. So long, bee. Hey, guys. Moose blood. I knew I'd catch up... You, I know I I knew I'd catch you all down here. Did you bring your crazy straw? We threw it in the jar. We slap a label on it. It's pretty much pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They're all pin they are pinheads. Pinhead. Check out the new smoker. Oh sweet, that's the one you want. The Thomas Three Thousand smoker. Ninety puffs a minute. Semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine, all the tar. A couple breaths of this knocks them right out. They make the honey. We make the money. They make the honey and we make the money. Oh my, what's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know do you know you're going in a fake hive with fake walls? Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. That's that's your queen? That's a man in woman's clothes. That's a drag queen. What is this? Oh no. There's hundreds of them. Bee honey, our honey is being bra brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told you that humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Do these look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously Dr. Photos. How did you get mixed up in this? He's been talking to humans. What? Talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend and they make out. Make out? Barry, we do not. You wish you could. Whose side are you on? The bees. I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, is this what you want to do with your life? I want to do it for all our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming home so overworked. Your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. What right do they have to our honey? We live on two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. Even if it's true, what can one bee do? Sting them sting where it really hurts. In the face, the eye. That would hurt. No. Up the nose. That's a killer. There's only one place you can sting the humans. One place where it matters. Hive at five. The hive's only full... Our action news source. No more bee bears with Bob Bumble at the anchor desk. Uh, weather with Storm Stinger. But sports with Buzz Larvy and Jeanette Chung. Good evening. I'm Bob Bumble and I'm Jeanette Chung. Oh, Tri Country Bee. Barry Benson intends to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it, and profiting from it illegally. Tomorrow night on Be Larry King, we'll have three former queens here in our studio discussing their new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on Hexagon. Today we're talking to Barry Benson. Did you ever think I'm a kid from the hive? I can't do this? Bees have never been afraid to change the world. What about Bee Columbus? Bee Gandhi? Bee Jesus? Where I'm from, we never, we never sue humans. We were thinking of stickball or candy stores. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case, which will be the trial of the bee century. You know, they have a Larry King in the human world, too. It's a common name. Next week, he looks like you He looks like you and has a show and suspenders and colored dots. Next week, glasses, quotes on the bottom from the guest, even though you just heard them. Bear week next week. They're scary, hairy, and hair live. Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack at the point of weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on here. 
Is that the same B? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello. Hello, B. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember you. Timberland size, ten and a half. Vibram soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go. Because we're very busy working. But it's yogurt night. Bye-bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult, you poor thing? You two have been at this for hours. Yes, and Adam here has been a huge help. Frosting. How many sugars? Just one. I try not to use the competition. So why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities and takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloon bouquets now. Bouquets. Bouquets. Bouquets now. Those are great if you're three. And artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me psychotic. Yeah, me too. Ben Stinger's pointless pollution bees much, must hate those fake things. Nothing worse than a daffodil that's had work done. Maybe this can make up for it a little bit. The lawsuit's a pretty big deal, I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure when I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home without paying a royalty. It's an incredible scene here in downtown Manhattan where, Manhattan, where the world anxiously waits because it's the first time in history. We will hear ourselves, hear for ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have we gotten into here, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think billion-dollar multinational food companies have good lawyers? Everyone need, everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know. I just gotta chill. Well, if it isn't the B team, you boys work on this, I'll rise. The Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right. Case number 4475, Superior Court of New York, Barry B. Benson versus the honey industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you are presenting... The five food companies collectively a privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all the bees of the world. I'm kidding. Yes, Your Honor, we're, ver we're ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman. Born on a farm, she believed it was a man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived here in the topsy-turvy world Mr. Benson imagines, just think of what it would mean. I would have to negotiate with the silkworm for the elastic in my britches. Talking bee. How do you know this isn't sort of holo some sort of hologramic, holographic motion picture caption Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventri ventriloquism, Jeff, Jeff Dunham, cloning, for all we know. He could be on steroids, um, Mr. Benson. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no trickery here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. It's important to all bees. We invented it. We make it and we protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who think that they could take us, take it from us. Because we're the little guys. I'm hoping that after all this is over, you'll see how by taking our honey. You're not only taking everything we have, but everything we are. I wish he'd dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your first witness. So, Mr. Claus Vander Hayden of Honey Farms, big company you have. I suppose... Where am I? I suppose so. I see you also own Honey Burton and Honron. Yes, they provide beekeepers for our farms. Beekeeper, I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you deploy, employ any bee freers, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No. No, because you don't free bees, you keep bees. Not only that, it seems you thought a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Yogi bear, fozzy bear, build a bear, you mean like this? Bears kill bees. How would you like his head crashing through your living room, biting into your couch, spitting out your throw pillows? Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Sting, thank you for being here. Your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was with a band called The Police, but you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. So here we have another example of bee culture casually being stolen by a human. For nothing more than a prance about stage name. Oh, please, have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung, Sting. Or should I say Mr. Gordon M. Summer? That's not his real name, you idiots. Mr. Lyota, first belated congratulations on your Emmy win for a guest spot on ER in 2005. Thank you, thank you. I see from your resume that you're dev devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil that's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet, it isn't, but... 
Is this what it's come to for you? Exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir? Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. Why doesn't someone just step on this creep when we can all go home? Order in the court. You're all thinking it. Order, order, I say. Say it. Mr. Lyota, please sit down. I think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. Are, are we doing everything right legally? I'm a florist. Right, well, here's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello, Ken. Hello, I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want this to go to waste, so I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could hear. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. So I hear you're quite a tennis player. I'm not much for the game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's where I usually sit, right there. Ken, Barry was looking at your resume, and he agreed with me that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? I know it's hard to find the right job. We have that in common, do we? Bees have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the crud out. That's just what I'm thinking about doing. Ken, I let Barry borrow your razor for his fuzz. I hope that was all right. I'm going to drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do that. Look at that. You know, I've just about had it with her little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue? Mamma Mia, that's a lot of pages, a lot of ads. Remember when Van said, why is your life more valuable than mine? Funny, I just can't seem to recall that. I think something stinks in here. I love the smell of flowers. How do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Water bug not taking sides. Ken, I'm wearing a chapstick hat. This is pathetic. <clears throat> I've got issues. Well, 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 a royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I surfs up, dude? Poo water. The bowl is gnar gnarly. Except for those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I don't eat it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee, and he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? No, but there are other things bugging me in my life, and you're one of them. Fine. Talking bees, no yogurt night. My nerves are fried from riding on this emotional roller coaster. Goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about all of that. I know it's got it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. <clears throat> I couldn't overcome it. Oh well. Are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about out of ideas. We would like to call Mr. B. Benton to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why. He Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah, Leighton, you've got to weave some magic with this jury or it's going to be all over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do is turn this jury around. To turn this jury around is to remind them of what they don't like about bees. You got the tweezers? Are you allergic? Only to losing, son. Only to losing. Mr. Benson B., I'll ask you what I think we'd all like to know. What exactly is your relationship to that woman? We're friends, good friends, yes? How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute, are you a little bed bug? I've seen a bee documentary or two, from what I understand. <clears throat> Doesn't your queen give birth to all the bee children? Yeah, but, so those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry, yes they are. Hold me back. You're an illegit you're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't y'all date your cousin's objection. I'm gonna pincushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Okay, I'm oh, I'm hit. Oh lordy, I am hit. Order, order. <clears throat> the venom, the venom is coursing through my veins. I have been fe I have been felled by a wing beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. Stinging's the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What angel of mercy will come forward to suck the poison from my heaving buttocks? I will have order in this court. Order, order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday when one of their legal team stuck late, uh, uh, stung Leighton T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy, hey. Is there much pain? Yeah, I, I blew the whole case, didn't I? 
It doesn't matter. What matters is that you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. They have got they got it from the cafeteria downstairs in a tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still on it. What was it like to sting someone? I can't explain it. It was all all adrenaline and then then ecstasy. And then ex uh, ecstasy. All right. You think this was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. I flew right into this. What were we thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in the world. What will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I heard they put the roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't check out. Oh my. Could you get a nurse to close that window? Why? The smoke. Bees don't smoke. Right. Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke, but some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. It is? It's not over? Get dressed. I've got to go somewhere. Get back to court and stall. Stall any way that you can. And assuming you've done step correctly, you're ready for the tub, Mr. Flamen? Yes, yes, Your Honor. Where is the rest of your team? Well, Your Honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly haphazardly. And as a result, we don't make a ver we don't make very good time. I've actually heard a funny story about Your Honor. Haven't these ridiculous bugs taken up enough of this court's valuable time? How much longer will we, will we allow, these, allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? They have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients, who, want, who run legitimate businesses. I move for a complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Flamen, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion. But you can't. We have a terrific case. Where is your proof? Where is the evidence? Show me the smoking gun. Hold it, Your Honor. You want a smoking gun? Here is your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What's this? This harmless little contraption. This couldn't hurt a fly, let alone a bee. Look at what has happened to bees who have never asked, smoking or not. Is this what nature intended for us to be forcibly attached to smoke machines and man-made wooden slate slat work camps? Living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man? What are we going to do? He's playing the species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please, free these bees. Free the 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 bees. Buy my mixtape on iTunes. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I knew you could do it. High five. Sorry, I'm okay. You know what this means? All the honey will finally belong to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is an unholy perversion of the balance of nature, nature Benson. You'll regret this, ba Barry, how much honey is out there. All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweater is Ralph Lauren. I have no pants. What if Montgomery's right? What do you mean? We've been living the bee way a long time, 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as a settlement? First, we'll demand complete shutdown of all bee work camps. Then we want back the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop, we demand an end to the glorification of the bear as anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath sink machine. We're all aware of what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal, take him out. We, he'll have nauseous for a few hours, then he'll be fine. We will no longer tolerate B negative nicknames, but it's just a prance about stage name, unnecessary inclusion of honey and bogus health products, and laddie human and laddie da human tea time snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it, Mr. Buswell. We just passed three cups, and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down? We'll ne we've will we never shut down. Shut down honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do we do now? Cannonball. We're shutting honey production. Miss mission abort. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Returning to base. Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey was out there. Oh, yeah? What's going on? Where is everybody? Are they out celebrating their home? I don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping in, I heard your Uncle Carl was on its way to San Antonio with a cricket. At least we got our honey back. Sometimes I think, so what if humans like our honey? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job, and I wanted to do it really well, and now I, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. They're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have any idea what's going on, do you? 
What did you want to show me? This. What happened here? That's not the half of it. Oh no, oh my, they're all wilting. Doesn't look very good, does it? No, and whose fault do you think that is? You know, I'm gonna guess bees. Bees, specifically me. I didn't think bees were not, I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers. Fruits, vegetables, they all need bees. That's our whole SAT, SAT test right there. Take away produce, produce that affects the entire, entire animal kingdom. Then, of course, the human species. So, if there's no more pollination, it could all just go south here, couldn't it? This is, I know this is also partly my fault. How about a suicide pact? How about we, how do we do it? I'll sting you, then you step on me. That just kills you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry. I'm sorry, but I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa, Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going? To the final tournament of roses parade in Pasadena. They've moved it to this weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's the last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just want to say I'm sorry. I never meant it to turn out like this. And I know, me neither. Tournament of roses. Roses can't do sports. Wait a minute. Roses, roses, roses. Vanessa, roses. Barry, roses are flowers. Yes, they are flowers. Bees, pollen, I know. That's why in the last parade, the, why, that's why this is the last parade, maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry, okay, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster, all my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I've ruined the planet. I wanted, to, I wanted to help you with the flower shop. I've made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought maybe you were remodeling. But I have another idea, and it's greater than all my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right, they have the roses, the roses have the pollen. <clears throat> I know every bee, plant, and flower bud in this park. All we gotta do is get what they've got back here with what we've got. Bees, park, pollen, flowers, repollination across the nation, tournament of roses, Pasadena, California. They've got nothing but flowers, floats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Bloom, FTD, official floral business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Nice brooch. Thank you. It was a nice brooch. Sorry, it was. A, thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, we just pick the right flow. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess and you could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Where should I sit? What are what are you? I believe in the pea. The pea? It goes under the mattresses. Not in this fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting that. I'm getting the marshal. You do that. This whole parade is a fiasco. Um. Let's see what this baby. Let's see what this baby will do. Um. Hey, what are you doing? Then we all. Then all we do is blend in with traffic without arousing suspicion. Once at the airport, there's no shopping us. No stopping us. Stop security. You and your insect pack your float? Yes. Has it been in your possession this entire time? Would you remove your shoes, remove your cigarettes? Pardon me, I know. Just having some fun. Enjoy your flight. Then if we're lucky, we'll have just enough pollen to do this job. Can you believe how lucky we are? We have just enough pollen to do the job. I think this is going to work. It's got to work. Attention passengers, this is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll experience a couple hours delay. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I got to get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I get help with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and air hair trimmer. Captain, I'm in a real situation. What did you say, How? Nothing. B, don't freak out. My entire species, what are you doing? Wait a minute, I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry, good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. Would a Miss Vanessa Bloom in 248 please return to the cockpit? And please hurry. What happened here? There was a dust buster, a toupee, and a life raft it exploded. One's bald, one's in a boat, and, the, and they're both unconscious. Is that another B joke? No, no one's flying the plane. This is a JFK control. This is JFK control tower. Flight 356. What is your status? This is Vanessa Bloom, a florist from New York. Where's the pilot? He's unconscious, so is the co-pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have, have, have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who is that? Barry Benson from the Honey Trial? Oh, great. I have low battery. <laughs> Um, Vanessa, this is nothing more than a big metal bee. It's got giant wings, huge engines. I can't fly a plane. 
Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Yes. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry, we're headed into some lightning. This is Bob Bumble. We have some late-breaking news from the JFK Air Airport where a suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from his legal victory, that's Barry, is attempting to land a plane loaded with people, flowers, and an incapitated flight crew. Uh... Flowers, we have a storm in the area and two individuals at the controls. Uh, with absolutely no flight experience, just a minute, there's a bee on that plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no account compadres. They've done enough damage, but isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee shouldn't be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. Haven't we heard this a billion times? The surface area of the wings and the body mass make no sense. Get this on air, got it, stand by, we're going live. The way we work might, may be a mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees, doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference, more than we realize to us, to everyone. That's why I want to get bees back to working together. That's the bee way, we're not made of jello, we get behind a fellow. Black and yellow, hello, left, right, down, hover, hover, forget hover. This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 Barry, what happened? I think we were just auto, I think we were on, on autopilot the whole time. That may have been helping me, and now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move it out. Move out. The only chance if, the only chance is if I do what I do, you copy me with the wings of the plane. You don't, don't have to yell. I'm not yelling, we're in a lot of trouble. It's very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone in your voice. It's not a tone, I'm panicking. I can't do this. Vanessa, pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. You snap out of it. You snap out of it. You snap out of it. Snap. You snap out of it. 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 Hold it. Why? Come on, it's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Hello? Benson, got any flowers for a happy occasion? And there are the pollen jocks. They do get behind a fellow black and yellow. Hello. All right, let's drop this tin can on the blacktop. Where? I can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on. You've got to think B, Barry. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Wait a minute. I think I'm feeling something. I want... I don't know. It's strong, pulling me like a 27 million year old in instinct. Bring the nose down. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. What in the world is on the tar tarmac? Get some lights on that. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Vanessa, aim for the flower. Okay, oh, the engines were going to... We're going in on B power. Ready, boys? Affirmative. Good, good, easy. Now that's it. Land on that flower. Ready for reverse. Spin it around. Not that flower. The other one. Which one? That flower. I'm aiming at that. I'm aiming at the flower. There's a fat guy in a flower shirt. I mean a giant pulsating flower made of millions of bees. Pull forward. Nose down. Tail up. Rotate around. it. That's insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. Am I cuckoo cuckoo or is this plane flying like in an insect-like pattern? Get your nose in there. Don't be afraid. Smell it. Full reverse. Just drop it. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop it in. Drop it in, woman. Come on already. Barry, we did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes. No. High five. Right. Barry, it worked. Did you see the giant flower? What giant flower? Where? Of course I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you, but we're not done yet. Listen, everyone, the runway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available anywhere on Earth. That means this is our last chance. We're the only ones who make honey. Pollinate flowers and dress like this. If we're going to survive as a species, this is our moment. What do you say? Are we going to be bees or just Museum of Natural History keychains? We're bees. Keychain. Then follow me. Accept keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here, you've earned this. Yeah. I'm a pollen jock, and it's a perfect fit. All I got to do are the sleeves. Oh yeah, that's our berry. Mom, look, mom, the bees are back. If anyone needs to make a call, now's the time. I've got a feeling we're working late tonight. Here's your change. Have a great afternoon. Can I help who's next? Would you like some honey with that? Is it, it is bee approved? Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese, it's all it's all me. And I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? Would you excuse me? My mosquito associate will help you. Sorry I'm late. He's a lawyer too. I was already a blood-sucking parasite. All I needed was a briefcase. Have a great afternoon. Barry, I just got this huge tulip border and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Can I help who's next? Alright, scramble jocks. It's time to fly. 
Thank you, Barry. This bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will the nightmare, when will this nightmare end? Let it all go. Beautiful day to fly. Sure is. Between you and me, I was dying to get out of that office. You've got to start thinking bee, my friend. Thinking bee? Me? Hold it. Just stop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. All right, take 10. Everybody wrap it up, guys. I had virtually no rehearsal for that. So I'm just going to call it on my laptop. I just did that. I just read the entire B-movie script. This channel is going more and more downhill by the minute. According to 